Hello everyone! So before we even start this video, I just want to give a huge, huge, huge shout out to Mark of Mark's Autograph Collection. Thank you so much Mark, he sent me the link for these, he made me spend money. Thank you Mark, I really, really appreciate it. I'm in the Harry Potter room, I just want to show you the state of the room today. So if we just go round, let me stand up while I'm here. This is that Harry Potter room, all my Gotham stuff is all over the floor, all my True Blood stuff. It's just a mess. And the reason for that is all of this stuff is normally on the landing, but we are getting the Christmas stuff and other stuff out of the attic. So I've had to take it all out of the landing and it's all just chilling in this room. Anyway, the purpose of today's video is to show you guys the new signed Gotham figures that I got in the post. I'm so excited with these. They are autographed, like I said, so they will be in next week's autograph update as well. And I wanted to say that all three figures I bought, I already had. And you know I'm a huge fan of keeping things in boxes. I don't unbox things, but I will show you later. So the first figure, Selena Kyle. This was actually the first Gotham figure I got. Obviously not the signed version. And this is signed by Cameron Bicondova. I'm so excited. I'm so happy about this. These are, like I said, the Gotham Diamond Select figures. Next up we have... Alfred, signed by Sean Pertwee. I'm so excited about this. These are my first autographs from Cameron and Sean as well. And third and final one is Edward Nygma, signed by Corey Michael Smith. I'm so happy with this. I do have Corey's signature, but this is just amazing. The seller gave me a great deal, £45 for all three. So shout out to that seller if you're watching. So like I said, I normally don't take things out of boxes. However, I already have these three figures and I do already have three more that I had in my collection previously which are Victor Zaz, Jim Gordon who we'll talk about a little bit more in a minute and Barbara Keane. Because I already had Selena, Alfred and uh, Edward Nigma, I decided to actually unbox them so you know I was really nervous unboxing them but I've done it. What I didn't know is behind the boxes they all come with one of these so it shows you some of the figures you can get and it also has like a feedback form and these mini mates which I've been trying to get my hands on but it's so difficult in the UK. And here is Edward Nigma unboxed. The lighting in here is a bit shocking at the minute. I need to change my light bulb. So sorry that you can't see him very well but he comes with a little desk. I'm just trying to focus. He's got a tiny question mark mug which is just adorable. He's got his little ID badge, he's got some pens in his pocket and he comes like I said with the desk. I am going to need to blue tack them to keep them stood up on my shelf when they eventually get back on the shelf because they don't stand very well. The articulation is pretty great. They, you know, the arms move, the legs move and they're quite well detailed. I think for the money you pay for them, they should have maybe a few more accessories or just something simple like maybe the drawers should open or, you know, have a bit more detail. I do think that they are worth the money but I think some improvements could be made on them. Next up we have Alfred Pennyworth. You cannot see these very well at all, but I'll try and pull him closer for you. But it does look quite like Jean Pertwee, to be fair. And you've got little tiny details, like he's got a little pocket watch and things like that. But again, like I said for the money, if you just look at this fireplace that, that Alfred comes with, you know, something simple such as the hidden lever, oh, sorry if that's a spoiler, or... Um, a bit of fire in the fireplace, you know? Just a bit more detail on that fireplace would have been nice. Alfred actually doesn't come with anything. Like, Edward Nigma came with his little coffee cup and Selena comes with some things which you'll see. Alfred didn't actually come with any accessories, which is a bit of a shame. I would have liked to have seen maybe a gun with him or... Well, anything really. And now on to the third one, which is a little bit of a problem, but it's Selena Kyle. Now, I didn't realise that her base and Jim Gordon's base actually go together. So all of her accessories go with Jim Gordon's base, who I do have here, like I said. I'll just pull him back for you. Can you see the base in the back? That connects to Selena Kyle's. But the only problem is I only have the one Jim, so I'm not unboxing him. So the short version is I'm basically going to have to buy another Jim just so I can display this because the way it stands now, I can't physically display it on my shelf. I probably should have had a look at that before I jumped in and unboxed her. But now I think she's the best figure in... Uh, the three that I've unboxed. She's very well detailed. She does look like Cameron. She looks a lot like Cameron. Uh, and she gets a little milk bottle. This figure actually, like I said, is the most detailed of the three. But it's just a bit of a shame that you have to 
uh, basically by Jim and unbox Jim as well to display them. Good move there, Diamond Select, because now I have to buy Jim again so I can display the inbox version and the outer box version. But I am still super, super happy and I think £45 for three signed figures is incredible. I'm going to quickly show them again and I just want to give a huge, huge shout out to Mark again of Mark's Autograph Collection for sending me the link for these. Uh, the seller was originally selling them £60 for the three and I wrangled them down to 45 so <laughs> I'm really, really impressed with that. So again, we have Cameron Bicondova on a Selena Kyle figure. And the signatures are great as well. We have Sean Pertwee on an Alfred figure. We have Corey Michael Smith on a... That's the sign figures and I just wanted to show you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you like this kind of thing. And I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.